This is the big picture, etc. On last week's show, the Supreme Court rules that what's been happening in Vegas no longer has to stay in Vegas. States may now conduct legal sports wagering. We spoke with Will Green from the American Gaming Association, which represents the interest of casino owners uh, and their employees here in Washington. And he ticked off a list of which states will likely move quickest. They are Connecticut, Delaware, Mississippi, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and West Virginia. On Twitter, where brevity is key, I abbreviated the state names C-T-D-E-M-S-N-J-N-Y-P-A-R-I-W-V. To which, up north in Portland, Maine, Larry Jamison quips, I've never seen greed spelled that way. Two buzzwords you're likely going to be hearing a lot are transparency and integrity. Transparency means that as billions and billions of dollars, now wagered illegally, come into the sunlight, each wager will leave footprints. There's a name and credit card attached. So is the umpire sister laying down a wad on tonight's game? And integrity refers to the statistics, the standard by which those odds will respond. Those statistics being the intellectual property of the leagues creates a new revenue stream for the leagues and teams. Matt Kennedy from Baton Rouge tweets, college athletic directors will publicly say it's bad for integrity, but privately they love the money. The big question, shouldn't we finally pay college athletes? My conversation with Will Green runs about six minutes and you can find it on YouTube by searching Holland Cook Sports Betting Now Legal.